oldest of 21 kids in the South. 21 children. There's a fine Irish Catholic family for you. We never had a babysitter. We had a shepherd. For the first three years of my life, I thought my mother was a barber, Polly. We put our mother on a pedestal. It was the only way we could keep the old man away from her. I finally figured out why my mother had so many kids. I didn't realize this until recently, but she was partially deaf. And each night when I went to bed, my father would say, you want to go to sleep or what? And she'd say, what? <laughs> Looking back on it, I realized it couldn't have been easy for my mother to clothe and feed 21 kids. She used to get a lot of our clothes from Goodwill. I remember once she got me a pair of pants with a zipper down the side and a big pocket right in front. I was almost arrested one day looking for change. <laughs> then when she couldn't get our clothes at Goodwill, she used to go to the Army Navy surplus store. You know how embarrassing it is going to school dressed as a Japanese admiral? I'm very grateful to my mother for one thing though. She taught me how to swim the old fashioned way. Brought me down to the edge of the river lagging in Belfast and threw me in. It was very traumatic. I thought I'd never get out of that pillowcase. Well, actually, it wasn't all that bad. I wasn't alone. I had a kitten and a cinder block for company. Playmates. So now we'll move right along to the dads. Any dads out there, if you made them claim them, that's what I say. Let me ask the dads this. Did you get this from your father and have you passed it on to your son because it's a father something? I'm talking about the magic daddy finger. When you pull dad's finger, you get the most amazing sound effect, remember? <laughs> yeah, your dad still does that? Yes, <laughs> dad. Uh, that's what this song is about. And uh, before I do it, there's a, a little story that goes with it. There's a young lady just about to go out on a blind date with a young man. The doorbell rings. She opens the door to greet him. As she does so, she gets this overwhelming urge to break wind. And it's a big one. It's been in there for a couple of days. And she's panic stricken. The guy's standing on the doorstep in front of her, and she doesn't know what to do. And she thinks, well, when I turn around to go to the closet to get my coat, I can unload it back there. And just as she turns around, her mother is standing there holding the coat in her face. She says, Mom, thanks a lot. And then she thinks, well, he'll walk me down the path, around to the passenger door of the car. He'll open the door. I'll sit down. While he's walking back around the car to get in the driver's seat, that's when I can drop it. And that's what happens. He walks her down the path, around to the passenger side. Like a gentleman, he opens the door for her. She sits down. He starts walking back around the car. Well, as soon as she hit the seat, she threw the two feet up on the dash and she let it rip. Me. An Irish fart should always live with laughter. 
It should melt your heart and melt your shorts as well. Well, I'm smart you door with power, could be shoot for every hour. An honest heart should have meaning but no smell. A strong man's heart should sound out like a trumpet. A pretty girl should barely even squeak. But the person you can trust is the one who'd rather bust than ever let one rip right on the street. Now from my old man this really was an earful. I tried to understand just what he meant. His words were primitive but strong, so I wouldn't get them wrong. He was saying to be careful as I went. He was saying to be happy as I could be. He was saying watch my step and as I pass. To beware who I looked up to and whatever else I might do. Know that most of what you get from folks is just escaping gas. Escaping gas. Sing it with me. He said a monkey fart should smell like a banana. English farts. English farts should smell like cups of tea. The fart of a fairy. The fart of a fairy should be very light and airy. When a father farts, I hope you'll think of me. An Irish fart should always look with laughter. Ha, 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 ha. It should melt your heart and melt your shorts as well. A lion's fart should roar with power. Could you shoot fart every hour? A nun's fart should have meaning but no smell. A strong man's heart should sound out like a trumpet. A pretty girl should barely even squeak. But the person you can trust is the one who'd rather bust than ever let one rip right on the street.